Welcome to the science video, Combined Science 5129, Syllabus 2021-2023, to Topic Motion, Force and Energy, Subtopic, Turning Effect of Forces, Part 1. The learning objectives for this topic, there are three. Number one, describe the moment of a force as a measure of its turning effect and give everyday examples. Number two, define the moment of a force as moment equal to force times perpendicular distance from the pivot. Recall and use this equation. The last one is, describe and be able to do an experiment to verify the principle of moments. Let's look at the first learning objective. In the first learning objective, We'll be describing moment, example of moments, and the SI unit for moments. Moment of a force is the measure of its turning effects. Example of moment is the pointer of a clock turning around. The door opening and closing. As you can see, it open and close creating a turning effect seesaw turning up and down using a spanner to tighten or loosen a bolt this also create a turning effect direction of moment there are two number one is clockwise Clockwise moment is when the direction of the turning effect is the same with the motion of a clock. Number two is anti-clockwise moment. Anti-clockwise moment is the opposite of the motion of the pointer in the clock. For example, this car is turning clockwise moment. And this time, it is turning anti-clockwise moment. Okay, let's use another example there's two kids playing on a seesaw when the girl the little girl when she goes down she is having an anti-clockwise moment whereas for the boy in blue when he goes down he has a clockwise moment the SI unit for moment is Newton meter denoted by NM that's the first learning objective. The second learning objective. In the second learning objective, uh, you'll be learning on the equation for moment and also calculation using equation for moment. Equation for moment is force times distance from force to pivot. Or simply, moment is equal to F, which is force time d which is distance from force to pivot here is an example you have to calculate the anti-clockwise moment for this diagram in this diagram the anti-clockwise moment is the weight with 8 newton so to calculate moment we use moment equal to force time distance the force given is 8 newton and the distance from 8 newton to the pivot is 2 meter we use this data 8 newton times 2 meter will give us 16 newton meter how to calculate clockwise moment for clockwise moment the force given is 6 and the distance from the force 6 newton to the pivot is 4 meter using the same formula force time distance we will get 6 newton times 4 meter equals to 24 newton meter according to the principle of moment the sum of anti-clockwise moment is equal to the sum of clockwise moment about the same point this is called equilibrium therefore according to principle of moment anti-clockwise moment is equal to clockwise moment for example, in this picture, we can see there are two forces, force 1 and force 2. Force 1 and distance 1, that is anti-clockwise moment. 
whereas force to and distance to is clockwise moment. So to do calculation using principle of moment, you will be using F1 times D1 equal to F2 times D2. Here is an example. The figure shows a balance uniform meter rule. Balance means equilibrium. So we are going to use the principle of moment. The knife edge is at 50 cm mark and the 0.1 newton weight is at the 20 cm mark. Calculate the distance of the 0.2 newton weight from the knife edge. Okay, let's focus on the diagram. The knife edge is the pivot. And from the pivot, we have a mark which is force 1, 0.1 newton. And we have another force, force 2, 0.2 newton. The distance from the pivot to F1 is D1 equal to 50 cm minus 20 cm gives us 30 cm. Remember to change cm to meter. So 30 divided by 100 will give us 0 0.3 meter. We have to find D2. Using the formula anti-clockwise moment, equal to clockwise moment we will put in all the data given f1 times d1 means 0.1 newton times 0.3 meter f2 times d2 which means 0.2 newton times d2 to find d2 we will put 0.2 newton on the left hand side therefore d2 is equal to 0.1 times 0.3 divided by 0.2 which give us 0.15 meter. Another example, a metal bar PQ has a weight of 5 newton and is pivoted at P. It is held horizontally by a newton meter acting at Q. Held horizontally means it is equilibrium. What is the reading on the newton meter? So we are going to find newton meter that is F1 and we are given F2. F2 is equal to 5 newton and then the distance from F2 to the pivot is 20 cm. Don't forget to convert cm to meter. Therefore, 20 cm divided by 100 will give us 0 0.2 meter. And then the distance from pivot to F1 is 20 cm plus 20 cm gives us 40 cm. Remember to convert the centimeter to meter. Therefore, 40 centimeter divided by 100 gives us 0 0.4 meter. Using the formula anti-clockwise moment equal to clockwise moment, we, we put in all the data. F1 times 0 0.4 meter equal to 5n times 0 0.2 meter. F1 is equal to 5n times 0.2 meter divided by 0.4 meter which gives us 2.5 meter. With that, we have already done learning objective number 1 and number 2. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.